As I read uh, the news coverage on people who are homeless, who have no place to stay, who have no hope of finding a place to stay, on a personal basis, my heart goes out to them. I try to put myself in that space and ask myself, what would I do? How would I deal with the loneliness? How would I deal with the lack of cleanliness? How would I deal with hopelessness? How would I adjust to it? Not only how would I adjust to it physically, but how would I adjust to it mentally? What would I have to do to myself to say, this is your life. You've got to survive. Do you give up hope on everything? Do you give up hope on mankind? Help from people in the cities? I haven't found an answer. As we called ourselves, we lived in a land of milk and honey, but not everyone has a chance to devour it. So I, as a blessed person, if I might call it that, I find myself wondering, what can I do to help? can I do? That doesn't answer the problem. And the problem is with me and others like us and organizations such as yours and others to help. I hear people offer their opinions of those who are homeless. And in some cases, they do it without a sense of gratitude for what they already have with no desire to share. How do we reach those people? How do we come together as humanity to see that those things don't exist? I don't drive any longer. Oh, I wish I did. But uh, at this age, they told me, no, you don't need to. I'm ready to take off in a speedster, you know. But being driven along the freeways in California and with eyes seeing the sadness on the faces of people who are homeless, and I would imagine some of them were once probably well known, had very good jobs, had homes, had families. Something happened along the way where they lost that. How fortunate we are, those of us who already have that. Don't we owe those who don't a little bit of something, a sharing? of some of what we have to help them. There is always the ground key of people who are interested in change, of getting involved. The more attention, I believe, the more attention that the public can give to an issue such as this, or will give to an issue such as this, the better off all of us would be. I feel extremely sad about it. I also feel vulnerable. Just because one might be comfortable today does not necessarily mean tomorrow that you will be. I guess what I'm saying is support an organization such as yours. Is out there doing the hard work and get more involved. I would ask 
people who will be like me. I don't mean color, no, hard. To think about it seriously. We're all human beings. I believe that there is space, food, enough of everything to satisfy all of our basic needs. I don't know what I can say beyond that, except that it is a human problem. And all of us who claim to be human <laughs> should be involved in trying to solve that so my congratulations to you and your firm uh, for doing what you do so well. Stay in touch. Thank you very much.